Let's do some painting today, in Fusion. Before we start, smash subscribe to not miss out upcoming Fusion lessons and other video editing tricks. Thanks. Let's begin then. In order to create this brush painting effect, we need to leave DaVinci Resolve for a moment and create a brush pattern in some other image editor like, for instance, GIMP. Totally free app. You can skip this part and download the brush pattern from the link in the description for free. I made it for you. Or follow me here. So in the GIMP, open file, create a new image. In advanced options, choose transparency. Change image size to let's say about 150 pixels. Choose the brush pattern. Change color to green for example. Increase the size and click once somewhere in the middle of the image. Now export the image in PNG format and we're good to back to DaVinci Resolve. In media page, create new fusion composition and double click it. Yeah. At last we are in the proper environment now. Add new background node and check if the size is correct. Make it transparent and connect with media out node. Duplicate the background node and add paint node. In the inspector, select image as brush shape. In the clip tab, choose our newly created PNG file. Now select polyline stroke and draw a line. Increase the size. Let me preview our paint node first. Yeah, that's better. So again, correct the size and in the stroke controls, adjust the size and the position, but also spacing so it looks more like a brush stroke. Finally, keyframe the right on parameter. Let's preview, seems right. In the spline menu, select all the keyframes and choose smooth. Now select the paint node and open selection tool shift plus space. Search for color corrector effect and click add. Let's turn it into white so setting saturation to zero and increasing gamma will do the job. Remember to turn on preview of the node you are currently working on to see the results. I always forget about it. Now connect the whole brush stroke group node to our background. The merge node will be created automatically. Let's see what we've got so far. Switch to edit page, open media and add our fusion composition above our clip. Now it's time for our handwritten title. Go back to the fusion page, add a text node in the inspector, input some text and select the font. Correct the size and merge the text to our composition. Select the merge node and set Zor XOR as operator option. Select text node, open effects and search for mask paint. Connect it to the text node. With the mask paint node selected, go to the inspector and invert the mask. Choose polyline stroke and draw a line on top of the text. In the brush controls, adjust the size and increase the smoothness so that the text is not visible. Once done, invert the mask again. Now keyframe write on parameter. In the spline, set all keyframes to smooth. It looks ok. Let's add one more effect to the text. Open effects and search for sharpen. Play around with the settings to your liking. Now let's add the final wiping effect. So add another mask paint node and mask two merge nodes with it. The blue lines indicate that you are applying mask. Invert the mask as before and draw polyline stroke imitating wiping movements. Increase size and decrease softness. And keyframe right on parameter. If this tutorial was too advanced for you, I'm currently working on an absolute beginner fusion course. So check out the description. Comment, like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Cheers and see you in the next one.